Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be reviewing my own laptop. This right here is my Samsung Galaxy Book 2. This laptop was released in March of 2022 and it retails for around $700. I have the base model which features an Intel Core i5-1235U, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage and Intel Iris XC Graphics G780EUS which powers the 1920 by 1080 IPS display. Let's find out how good of a purchase this mid-range laptop is. Since I got this laptop brand new, I can actually unbox it. The unboxing experience is pretty good. The laptop is packaged well and almost everything in the box is made out of cardboard except for the protective sleeve around the laptop. With the laptop you also get a 45W fast charger and a 2 meter USB-C to USB-C cable. I then also went on to cleaning this laptop. Since this is my daily driver, it got a bit dirty over time, but nothing that a quick wipe down can't fix. Sadly, even though I only keep this in the laptop compartment of my backpack, this laptop has quite a couple of marks already on the top case. Now, since this laptop shipped with an install of Windows 11, I didn't have to install Windows, so it was straight on to installing programs. Of course, this laptop could browse the web very quickly and everything that I wanted to install could be installed without any issues. Now it's time to test out the keyboard on this laptop. The keyboard on this laptop does take a bit of getting used to as the key travel is very shallow but it's a very comfortable keyboard to use once you're used to it. The feedback you get from the keys is very satisfying and the whole keyboard area feels very premium. The addition of a dedicated numpad is something that I use very frequently on this laptop so it comes in pretty handy. The only thing that this keyboard misses is a keyboard backlight. Even the Samsung settings utility has controls for the backlight, but it seems that this laptop doesn't have one. This is how the keyboard sounds. Below the keyboard you can find the touchpad. The touchpad on this laptop is okay. The touchpad is very big which is nice, but in my opinion it's way too loud and you have to press the touchpad down pretty far to register a click in comparison to the keyboard. Testing out YouTube, YouTube was of course watchable up to the maximum resolution. The speakers on this laptop also sound very good. This is how the speakers sound. And it has a 240 by 320, 3.14 inch TFT display. Let's find out what this decade old budget phone can still do today. For ports, this laptop has a USB-C port, HDMI port, USB port and another USB-C port on the left side, nothing on the front side, a micro SD card reader, a 3.5mm jack for audio, a USB port and an opening for a lock on the right side and on the back it has no ports. The microphone on this laptop is situated next to the webcam and this is how it sounds. Alright, this is the microphone review of the Samsung Galaxy Book 2. The microphone is situated at the top next to the webcam and it actually looks like it has two microphones, so a stereo microphone system. I'm curious as to how it sounds. Let's run some benchmarks. Starting off with Heaven. In Heaven, this laptop got an average FPS of 42.4 and a score of 1069. Moving on to Cinebench, this laptop got a score of 6988 in the multi-core test and a score of 1506 in the single core test, which are pretty impressive results. Moving on to some games, I tested out Minecraft. 
on the highest settings and with a render distance of 17 chunks, Minecraft was more than playable. The laptop managed to get an average FPS of 138, with 1% lows of 25 FPS and 0.1% lows of 15 FPS. Testing out Roblox, Roblox was also more than playable. On the second to highest settings, this laptop managed to achieve an average FPS of 60, with 1% lows of 48 FPS and 0.1% lows of 34 FPS. If you want to play some light games, this laptop can definitely handle it. Testing out Euro Truck Simulator 2, on the lowest settings, this laptop managed to achieve an average FPS of 85, with 1% lows of 43 FPS and 0.1% lows of 25 FPS, making for a more than playable experience. Then moving on to an even more intensive game, BeamNG Drive was also playable on the lowest settings and in a resolution of 1280 by 720. On these settings, the laptop got an average FPS of 43, with 1% lows of 30 FPS and 0.1% lows of 21 FPS, so if you turn your graphics settings down a bit, this laptop can run quite a lot of games. Even a pretty GPU heavy game like Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 would launch. On the lowest settings, this laptop got an average FPS of 34, with 1% lows of 20 FPS and 0.1% lows of 3 FPS. Testing out the fan noise, this laptop did not get all that loud at maximum load, but the fan does make an annoying high pitched noise. Luckily, using the aforementioned function keys, you can set the fan to silent mode, which makes this laptop practically silent. This is what the fan sounds like at maximum speed. I also tested out the battery. After 3 hours and 35 minutes of watching YouTube with the screen at maximum brightness, the laptop fully died. On days where I use a laptop with brightness at half and with the battery saver mode turned on, I usually get anywhere from 4 to 6 hours of screen on time out of this laptop, which is still under the manufacturer's claim of 7 hours. And with that, time to shut this laptop down and give my final opinion. Is this laptop a good purchase in 2023? Absolutely! In my opinion, this laptop has the perfect balance between affordability, performance and weight. In terms of weight, I carry this laptop around everywhere in my backpack and as it comes in just over a kilogram, carrying it around is absolutely no issue. I purchased my model in the summer of 2022 for 700 euros and as of writing they start at 649 euros. Combine that with the i5-1235 which is absolutely no issue with day to day tasks and during my use case sometimes even light photo and video editing is doable. The only thing where this laptop lacks quite a lot in my opinion is the screen. I think the screen in this laptop or at least in my model came from the factory with quite a lot of backlight bleeding. The screen is matte though which is something that I do like. Now of course this laptop does not come close to any of the other laptops in the Galaxy Book 2 series, but for its price range, I would definitely recommend it. And with that, this video comes to an end. Thanks so much for watching, comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!